Winston Eagle, Mark Tate. He's been setting records all day long. He'll be in lane number one. Lane two will be the U8, the Tide Boat, George Woods Jr. Then in lane three, it's the U2, Miss T Plus, Steve David. Lane four is the U102, Coors Dry, Dave Vilwak. Lane five, the Miss Hanalei Hotel, Nate Brown. The trailer boat is the Kellogg's Tony the Tiger trailer boat by virtue of winning the last chance heat. The boats come around the course now. They are just warming up. They're trying to take their position. A flying start. The judges will be looking on the course to get everything lined up as best they can to give everybody an equal shot at the trophy. You can see the Winston Eagle just raring to go. Jim, that boat's already set a bunch of records today. It's got to be a strong favorite coming in. Inside the Winston Eagle with Mark Tate. Listen to the acceleration sound of the turbine. There's your start. And the Winston Eagle in good position now, approaching turn number one. The competition is going to be to his right on the outside. The tide boat trying to move up on them. There you can see a great shot of the start. The trailer boat on the back side of the course is the Tony the Tiger boat. He's got a ways to go. He got into this final heat by qualifying in the last chance. He's going to try now to move up in that field. But the lead boat right now appears to be the tide. The tide boat has taken over the lead. George Woods Jr., there was apparently a compression stall or something that happened to just put a little tick in the run for the Winston Eagle, but the tide boat at this moment has the lead. George Woods Jr., winner at Seattle, his hometown earlier this year. We're back inside the cockpit of the Winston Eagle. Whoa, I think he just hit that boy. We're going to have to check and listen closely on the URC radios. Something is being said about it. The helicopter high above the course is reporting that the Winston Eagle did indeed hit a buoy, and he will be penalized one lap. Now, the tide boat still is in the lead. The challenge, though, is now from the Coors dry boat. This is the first race for Dave Vilwak, and look at him to the right of the tide boat. A tough situation for that Winston Eagle team to overcome with a lap down right now as we look at our leaders on the right. It is George Woods Jr. the tide. Look at the challenge from Dave Vilwak. The Coors dry coming on very, very strong. So Dave Vilwak trying to take the lead. Now, he is a rookie driver in the Unlimiteds, but he is a world champion several times over in limited hydroplanes his last victory in the limited hydroplanes was on this course in mission bay and he has now taken the lead in the unlimited hydroplane race george woods jr now will have to go in the inside try to do it tight as george woods turns it i believe he did he just hit a buoy i think another one lap penalty is coming We'll listen to the radios and see if the officials do indeed assess another one-lap penalty. One of our lead boats on the right of your screen, back in second place, as the boats are running, is the tide boat on the outside to the left of him. Back in third is the Winston Eagle boat. Both of those boats, yes, it is firm now. Both boats have been penalized one lap. So now the Coors Dry boat with Dave Vilwak driving his first unlimited hydroplane race is the lead boat. The other two boats have a long way to go, but when you have a brand new boat and a brand new driver you never know what's going to happen it's only happened once before when gene whip was a brand new driver his first competition the president's cup washington dc the lincoln thrift he won the race he certainly did and he got out of unlimited hydroplane racing and now serves as an official at some of the races as a matter of fact there's your second place boat the miss t plus still running very strong the miss Honolulu hotel nate brown is back in third place and back and forth is the kellogg's tony the tiger boat now remember that boat was the trailer boat now up in fourth place because of the one lap penalties assessed to the winston eagle and the tide so tony the tiger very much in contention here but right now the lead boat is the coors dry driven by rookie driver dave vilwak here's a shot inside of the restarted winston eagle he has had engine problems it sounds like he's going down he has. The Winston Eagle has gone down. He's lost power. Boy, that's a disappointing finish to an otherwise great day. Now, in the first lap of this race, he had a little bit of a hesitation in the engine. I don't know whether that was indicative of what was going to happen here just moments ago. Here's your lead boat. Look at the tail on that boat going back and forth. There's the course dry Dave Vilwak. He is not letting up. He doesn't have competition at the moment, but he's still got his foot in it. 
Well, any word for the Winston Eagle camp? They cooked the hot section of that turbine. That's why they went dead in the water. As we look to the left of your screen, here is the T-plus, Steve David, a very fine second place right now. And he's going to be happy with that, I'm sure. He'd like to be up in the main competition, but as the checkered flag goes out, the winner of the competition is none other than Dave Bilwock, the rookie driver in the Coors Dry Boat, T-plus second, Hanalei Hotel third, Kellogg's Tony the Tiger fourth, at the Tide Boat fifth, and the Winston Eagle did not finish.